All right, for the next step, we're going to start getting into transformations. So I'm going to show how this works with Landsat 8 versus Landsat 7. So once you've resized Landsat 8, there's some data that doesn't stay with it in terms of the metadata. So we, we may find that it, the tools don't necessarily work with it. And in particular, NDV, NDVI is one of them. So I'm dealing with a Landsat 8 image right now. And if I go to NDVI and I can double click on this or press enter, then I can select my input raster. So I'm going to select the resize raster that I was working with and ask me to output it. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to create a folder called transformation. And then I'm going to call this one my NDVI October 2020. lowercase and press save and then OK. Now with mine it worked fine. I know that some people will, may get an error and if you do get an error don't stress it's OK because we can do NDVI as a band math. So in the toolbox if you type band math you'll find it here. If you double click it then you'll come with this little box here. So then you're going to enter an expression, and the expression is actually the mathematical equation that you would use to calculate NDVI. We have to use a format called IDL, so what you're going to do is just follow exactly what I am doing. So you put an open, you have to click in the, the enter expression button <laughs> line first. I'm going to do open and close brackets so that I don't forget any. And then I am going to say B2 minus, then I'm going to type out the word float, F-L-O-A-T, and then open and close bracket, and inside of that I'm going to type B1. Then I'm going to use the divide sign, which is the forward slash. I'm going to open and close brackets so that I don't forget any, and I'm going to say B2 plus, and then float, type out the whole word, F-L-O-A-T, open and close brackets, and B1. So B2 is meant to be my NIR, my near infrared, and B1 is meant to be my red. So then you can click Add to List, and it will pop up up here. Highlight it, press OK, and you'll end up in this new menu here. So in the new menu, you can go down to your file that you're working with, Make sure B1 is highlighted, and then just click once on red, and it will fill in. And then B2 is highlighted, so click on it, and then you choose near infrared for B2. So now it's going to do this mathematical equation with these two values. So I'm going to hit choose, and this time around I'm going to go to NDVI, and I'm going to call it BM for band math. This one is October 2020. So I press open and OK. So now I can see that it's saying this is not working. It has this like weird number that doesn't work for me. That's OK. You can just ignore this warning. It, it, all it's doing is calculating NDVI. So press OK and you can see that it's here. So let's look at the difference between the band math version. So this is band math and this is the NDVI tool. Both of them are exactly the same. So don't, don't worry if one works and one doesn't, it doesn't matter, one of them will work for you. If one doesn't work, go to the other version. So once you've created these though, I want you to apply a color table. And ideally green is probably the best because it's representative of vegetation. And I like one of these down here. And then you press OK. So now I can see anything that's white is not vegetation. Anything that's like dark green has lots of vegetation. That's how I like to set it up. It's more of a personal preference, as long as you are clear as to what the values or what they what they look like. And then I can compare my numbers. So I'm actually going to remove these from there so that I can see the cursor value. So if I go to here into this bright area. I can see the data number, and this is my NDVI calculated value for that pixel, is negative 0.0689.
if I go to one of these darker areas with lots of green, I can see that my data value is between, is sorry, 0 0.445. So this is giving me kind of a spread of the, what those values look like. Um, and then I can identify that throughout my image and say these are these values. So that is NDVI and how to calculate it. Um, and then our next one will be getting into the PCA and then we'll do an ND, or a TCA. And we'll have to do those ones differently for both Landsat 7 and Landsat 8 because Landsat 7 and 8 tools are a little bit different in this, in this version of MB.